Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we are going to discuss about the product fusion of controller transform and genetic moments feature extraction using DNM and ELM classifiers for MRI brain tumor images. Now we are going to discuss about the abstract for the process. Image retrieval is that the most vital applications that has been used extensively in image processing. Content based image retrieval that is the CBIR is employed to search and retrieve the expected image from the dataset. In this process we use the magnetic resistance image that is the MRI plays a crucial role in diagnosis many diseases in human brain. In this paper we propose a new fusion techniques for T1 and T2 weighted MRI scans. Our proposed technique has three parts first texture then shape and then the texture and shape of features are extracted from the brain tumor images. Next the fusion techniques like the genetic algorithm and the particle swarm optimization that is otherwise known as the GA and the PSO are used to combine the texture and shape features. Finally the popular supervised learning machine techniques like the deep neural network that is the DN and and the extreme learning machines that is the ELM are used to classify the brain tumors based on the selected features. The experiment is done on the several images and then we have to calculate the efficiency of the process by using the accuracy error rate and the Jacquard coefficients like that. In this process provides the most efficient for the segmentation. Now we discuss the overall flow diagram for the process. This is the overall flow structure for the process. At first the query image is taken from the dataset. The dataset is the <coughs> folder which consists of the several input MRI images. After getting the any one single input MRI image from the dataset, the feature extraction is carried out by using the wavelet features and the genetic features. Before extracting the feature, we have to segment the tumor region by using the two types of uh, segmentations. The first one is the clusterings, then the second one is the water cell segmentation. After the segmentation only, we have to extract the features, then we have to train the test images and the trained images both. After the training process, we have to calculate the distance between the features of test features and the train feature. If the minimum distance is attained means the most relevant properties will be uh, extracted. <coughs> then the most relevant particles like the segmented regions will be indicated as and contours in indications. Then the efficiency of the process will be calculated. Now we are going to discuss about the initial running procedure for the process. Just open the MATLAB 2013 and change the current directory. If you want to execute the code means just right click in the main.m file and click the option run. Now the initial GUI design was opened. In that you can see the several push buttons and the access present here. Now click the input image button. After clicking the button input image, the dataset was opened. In the dataset you can see the several input images. And also you have see the other dataset images. Select any one image from the database. After the selection of the image from the dataset, the selected input image is shown in the axis 1 with the title input image. Then we have to convert the image into a grayscale image. Now the grayscale conversion is carried for the input image. At first the input image is the RGB image. So that only we have playing the grayscale image to convert the RGB into a single dimensional image. Then we have to add the noise to the grayscale image. Now the noisy image is presented in the axis 1 with the title noisy image. Here we are using the Gaussian noise so that only here the white noise is present. After the addition of noise we have to apply the initial filtering by using the Gaussian filters. After applying the filtering, the filtered image is shown in the axis 1 with the title filtered image. Then we have to apply the image sharpening. 
in the sharpening process the pixels of the each and every corners will be sharpened then we have to using the detect tumor in the tumor detection process the tumor regions will be detected and then segmentation by the by using the contour segmentation method after the tumor detection the k means clustering is applied to clusters the tumor region when applying the k means clusters the clusters will be take some time to cluster the tumor region from the other backgrounds after applying the cluster region the cluster result is shown in the axis 2 with the title dilated image now click the button watershed now this is the output for the watershed segmentation after applying the watershed segmentation the feature extraction is carried out in the feature extraction process we will extract the some important data from the tumor region that is known as the feature extraction after the feature extraction process the extracted feature is optimized by using the pso optimization now we click the pso optimization to optimize the input features now the optimized graph will be shown in front of you after applying the optimization the feature is optimized into a particular range then we have to classify the input image now click the button classification after clicking the button classification the classification process will be done and then the corresponding result will be displayed here the neural network is applied as a classifier so here some of the iterations are like uh, approaches times performance gradients will be shown in the neural network we have considered the three type of layers first one is the input layer then second one is the hidden layer then the third one is the output layer after running the neural network the input image is classified and the types of the classification result will be displayed in the edit box now the input image is the abnormal tumor then we click the performance button to estimate the true positive true negative false positive false negative then the accuracy of the process will be displayed as an 95 percentage then the sensitivity and specificity values are also displayed thanks for watching this video